Hi everybody, this is Scott with Believers Underground. I'm up here on the east side of Seattle, Washington this morning. You know, and I've been going through some videos with this with uh, Craig here and and you know, let's, let's just put a lot of this stuff to bed because man, I get tired of hearing it. You know, people are predicting dates for pole shifts like this Zeta person. Let me clue you into something. Then these 2012 folks, you know, saying, oh, it's going to be this year and that year, whatever, man. It's, it's put, it was nip this in the bud. Oh, and also these comments or whatever is going to hit, whatever. <sighs> man, these are all extinction level events. And you put a date on an extinction level event, then you're saying that's the day Christ returns. Okay? It's garbage. Ain't gonna happen. Point blank. Now with this pole shift stuff, I'll show you how it rolls. Okay, there. This is what would have to take place for a pole shift to happen. You would have to get the magma destabilized 20 miles because you're working with E equals M C squared energy and mass because you got all this crust crust goes down 70 miles give or take okay they go opposite directions you got the magma going one way and then you got the crust going the other way you would have to have the crust destabilize at least 20 miles just because of the weight up here for it to to turn like that basically it's like the ligaments and that the ligaments would have to tear in order for the earth to rotate like that. If that took place, every single volcano on this planet would blow up. The oceans would sink into the magma, wipe out everything. You know? And that happened a uh, long time ago. They ain't nothing survived. Zero. Not even an amoeba could survive an event like that. Because you're dealing with gravity. And the Earth has gravity. So, so much for Darwinism. Okay? See, as a scientist, nothing could have survived. You can't go past that point. Same with the Glacier Age. Nothing could have survived. The, the climate chaos involved, the, the volcanic activity blowing, the islands sinking, you know, the, the ocean floor sank 120 meters. You're talking climate catastrophe on every level, uh, the sun being blacked out for years, okay? Everything would have been wiped out. Nothing could have survived. So that's, you know, as a scientist, you can go check it for yourself. Nothing could have survived. So Darwin, that stupid Darwin garbage, hits a brick wall. That's a lie. And that's just science. Okay? You know, I sit here going, hmm, okay. Rolling out the goods, giving you the science, taking on dudes from MIT, any university, ICCP, CPS or the, what's that COP15 something man, I got videos on all these things man yeah you got big problems look at the East Coast I've been saying it for a long time you're in a, in a double El Nino man you're, you're going to get snowed in worse than you did this year I've been telling everybody on LBN Liberty Broadcasting Network I'm there five days a week you know it's, it's slam dunk stuff it's just science the East Coast is going to get really cold. And, and just like the United Kingdom, it's going into an ice age. It's just science. And those volcanoes out there on the East Coast, they can't blow up enough with all that new water and pressure and weight in there. And then you're dealing with ice. You're dealing with water. Water that's fresh water evaporates faster than salt water salt water will sink, the fresh water is going to stay on top, it's going to evaporate super fast. And that's why over there in the East Coast, the snow 
is like a hundred times it has a hundred times more moisture than say you have a snowball here regular snowball and then you have another snowball but you have all this moisture in it, it weighs a hundred times more you're going to see roof collapses you're going to see all kinds of stuff and it's only going to get worse from here you're, this is this is what we're dealing with the ice is melting and nothing going to stop it you know and I, I see the you know these dudes come on Alex Jones man and you know trying to disprove whatever man that's bull you can go down one rabbit hole to the next man there's all kinds of conspiracies and stuff out there that's why I don't deal with conspiracies that's why I put all the facts and the information and the links and the predictions or should I say projections it's it's just science you know does it confirm the word sure it does the words a witness unto itself you know as people try to disprove whatever man well then you know hey you may have been bible thumped or hit over the head or whatever or let down whatever pass or maybe think you're gonna sand or something I don't know man it's a bunch of nonsense I see them predicting these dates and that dates and stuff and the science better roll with it you know are we going to enter into a great tribulation yeah see you'll get to a point with this climate and with this ice melting where you know the last ice age happened in two and a half years once that last domino drops man all hell breaks loose you know, some scientists de debate, you know, it was 12 months or 6 months. Okay, as, as far as the, the tribulation, you know, it's a 7 year adjustment and readjustment around the globe. You know, you're, you'll have the storms, you'll have the, as Thailand is sinking now. You know, I told you all these islands are going to be sinking. The ocean floor is sinking. This is heavy weight. And like NASA confirmed, you know, what, 6 weeks ago sea level fell last year okay it fell just like it did in the last end of the last water age so you got a thousand years worth of ice there that's melting in in a short time over the last you know 40 years you entered into the atomic age what did you think was going to happen as those things blow holes in your ozone deposit all this metal radioactive stuff all over the planet and what do you think about these 440 nuclear power plants that are around the globe they're not shutting them down and Fukushima what uh, five and six that's taking time on they'll they'll probably melt down in the next three four months as Japan gets hit with another huge earthquake because they ain't gonna stop over there or in New Zealand or Fuji, the the whole coast of uh, South America now, man. As Bolivia, the the volcanic ranges are lifting up over there, and they're sending uh, all kinds of people over there, trying to figure out what happened before the last ice age. Well, the water age, and just like that ice sank these continents, like Greenland. You know, they, the ice comes off, it rebounds up. But the ocean floor is even softer than those lands. This sinks the ocean floor. <laughs> Messes up your ocean currents. You're going to see millions of dead fish come up this year. You're going to see volcano after volcano. As you have Etna blowing, you got another one down in Chile blowing. It's going to knock out food crops. You know, fish are food. Uh, you're, you're going to see famines and pestilence it's, it, and earthquakes and volcanoes and it's, just, it's a gimme the permafrost melting and reef you know thing. you're going to see the earthquakes in the higher elevations too and, uh, I mean it's, you're going to see nuclear power plants melt down and it's a continuous adjustment and readjustment counter adjustment of the earth you're going to have the magnetic field on the lower part of the earth trying to correct the balance of the top part of the earth because you're in orbital wobble you're going to see lands rebounding above Russia in the Arctic. 
it, you know, it, no offense, it's just time. As they push all the lies on you. They're demagogues, they're idols of old, and corporations. The paper that they gave life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You might as well go over to Wall Street and give life to that bull statue, or the life to that bear statue, or life to that pig statue over here, you know. Same thing, can't talk, taste, eat, nothing, man. Couldn't save a flea off a dog. Neither can a piece of paper. You know, and if you have that type of event, and this is the list of all the volcanoes here in the United States, with all their latitudes and longitudes, you know, whoever wants a blessing from God, you got to be a blessing. You know, I'm saying a, a one man gig, and no man's an island. You know, people go, hey man, I want to send you money, Scott, but you don't use the banks, you don't use the PayPal. You know, help you out on, on your walkabout, trying to get this information out. As I'll take on any of these universities, professors, whatever, don't matter. But they can't send me a PayPal, they can't send me all those things, because I don't use any of them. I don't own properties, I don't own vehicles, I stepped from the system a long time ago. That's why I don't get medical or dental or none of that stuff. You know, and I, I go to these things and all I hear is me, 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 me. I want, I want, I want. Well, you know what? How does God feel about that stuff? Is anyone thinking about how God feels about this? What He wants? I mean, wow. They're jumping in bed with idols all over this planet. And all these nuclear facilities? What a pregnant nursing children. <laughs> and this kind of effect, you don't want it to last 20 years. That will be brutal. <laughs> Seven years is enough. Okay, <laughs> simply enough. And, and you're already running hardcore into it. It's already begun. Pakistan.